This video is sponsored by Dreamy Tech, but more on them later. So let's get straight to the point. This is the official One UI 4 Android 12 update on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. And these are the top 10 new features. Of course, the first thing to notice is the new design. It is not a huge jump compared to One UI 3, but there are some noticeable changes. So let's start with them. The most obvious thing is the new color palette that changes along with your wallpaper colors. Under the settings, wallpaper and style, color palette, you can choose from the extracted colors to apply them to the notification drawer, the settings toggles, and also to the Samsung apps icons. When you change your wallpaper, you'll get an instant suggestion of different colors that you can apply right away. The colors are also reflected in Google and Samsung apps, Gmail, Drive, phone, calculator, and so on. The lock screen also got some minor updates. Now when you tap the time from the lock screen, you can access some extra widgets like starting a voice recording from there or checking your calendar and from the settings toggles on the bottom, you can choose which widgets to display or hide. Next are the other many but minor design changes that you can notice when using the phone daily, like the new charging animation, the bouncy scrolling animations, the slightly redesigned Samsung widgets, the thicker brightness slider the new battery status section redesign and the new blur animation while resizing a split screen window. Now let's get into utility features. Number 4 are the new very cool use cases of AR emoji. In the AR zone app, AR studio section, you can set your AR emoji to be your call screen background and choose from different cool dances and animations. So when someone calls you, that's the animation you're getting. You can also set your AR emoji as your lock screen video and choose from the same animations like this dancing one I got on my screen. Number 5 is the new quick share feature. You might already know about quick share that lets you quickly and seamlessly send large files to other Galaxy devices, but now it has another feature, which is sharing a link using a QR code. Once clicked, you'll get a QR code that any wireless can scan and access a web link from which he or she can download the files. A cool one for those that don't have Galaxy devices. Number 6 is the ability to use the split screen window on all apps, even the ones that are not supported. Under the settings, advanced features, labs, you can activate multi-window for all apps. And this actually works great on apps like Instagram that is not supported. You will not notice any size issues and you'll get an overall clean look. And speaking of clean, the P10 cordless stick vacuum from our video sponsor Dreamy Tech is the way to go for clean space. This elegantly designed vacuum comes with a 100,000 RPM motor with 100 air watt suction power. And you can control it all from this beautiful color LED display. By changing the suction mode levels and using the auto lock button to free your finger from pressing the power button while cleaning. And you nicely get a battery level indicator here which is easily removable and lasts for 50 minutes of cleaning on a single charge. You get two brushes that are able to perform four types of cleaning. The main multi-surface brush for floors and carpets cleaning and the two-in-one crevice nozzle for the hard to reach areas like corners. The P10 cordless vacuum is very lightweight at 3.6 pound, easy to clean when emptying the dustbin and thanks to the washable included filter. For the very affordable price compared to the competition, I can only highly recommend it. Click the link below to check the product details and get it. Now back to our One UI 4 update. Next are the new Samsung keyboard features and the Grammarly integration. If you're not familiar with Grammarly, it is an app that helps you write better text with its powerful suggestions. And now it is part of the Samsung keyboard. You can activate it by opening the keyboard settings, selecting third-party content to use, and activate Grammarly. Once done, when you're writing a note or a message, Grammarly will check your writing in real time and underline the wrong words in green or show this green dot on the corner from which you can review writing suggestions and apply them. You also have an updated emoji section with easier access to your emojis, GIFs, stickers, a YAR emoji and a new section in which you can create your own animated emojis combination. Save and send them. Next is the new camera app update. 
which is now redesigned and comes with some extra features like faster access to video recording by pressing and holding the shutter button and locking it here to continue recording hands-free, the new zoom level indication when manually zooming and the addition of the telephoto lens into the photo pro mode. So let's jump into a couple of privacy and security features now. Number 9 is more controllability over your camera, microphone and clipboard access. Now when an app is trying to use your camera or microphone, you get a green dot on the corner letting you know about it. And I strangely found that Instagram tries to access my camera sometimes even when I don't use the app to take pictures. And I don't know if it is collecting our avatars for the metaverse. You can see any app access history timeline under the settings, privacy, camera, microphone or location and under the controls and alert sections you can deactivate the camera and microphone altogether and also activate an alert when an app is trying to paste data from your clipboard. Last but not least is the authentication using Samsung Pass, something that I continuously use. This feature was always available but now when you open an app that is protected with Samsung Pass, you will have an extra choice to switch between fingerprint or face unlock when opening the app. So these were the top 10 new features on the official One UI 4 update. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Like the video if you did and dislike it even if you can no longer see those dislike numbers and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.